this to review, but you had a chance to do it today. What, what were some of your takeaways about what went wrong? Oh, look, it's a pretty disappointing result for ourselves. Um, we're a very good attacking team, but we didn't obviously um, do too well on Friday night. We had a lot of chances. Um, Broncos played a good style of footy. Um, I'm not going to take that away from them, but they still gave us some opportunities at times in the game, and um, our spine just didn't really, just really weren't connected enough. And it's a bit um, ordinary from our spine, to be honest. Um, we were pretty poor. Uh, it's probably the first time this year we've looked disconnected. So um, it's, it was a massive game for us as well to be able to go to a prelim. So yeah, we obviously had a bit of a chat with um, Harry, Husey and Means, and um, just to try and figure out what what went wrong. Um, but at the end of the day. There's only one week, I've won a little bit of a hiccup of a game all year, so hopefully we can get it right for the Roosters on uh, Friday night. How much does that experience count now that you've got to do it the hard way? Oh, yeah, experience is like, a, it, it, everyone talks about experience and stuff, but at the same time we probably didn't ice our moments. Um, still had an opportunity with X in the corner. Um, we still created some opportunities, but um, this obviously execution went down the wrong way. And uh, myself, I, at certain times I probably took it upon myself to do some stuff that wasn't right for the team, and um, so yeah, just going back to what works for us, and hopefully we can do it this week. You said you chatted to Harry and Jerome and uh, the, the, the spine in general. What, what have you kind of talked about? What can you enlighten us on what the conversations have been with the last couple of days? Probably just the atmosphere as well. Like, um, probably just didn't relay our calls enough. Um, no, just, just no, no. There's no excuses, but um, obviously it was allowed. Um, Brisbane Suncourt for a game, and um, we knew. Obviously, myself and Harry played there a fair bit um, with Origin, and you can't really hear the guys beside you. So, um, yeah, just obviously didn't relay the calls enough for each other um, going into the game. And um, yeah, look, it's not good enough for us. Um, yeah, it's, like I said, it was only a hiccup for the first year, but uh, saying that was one of, the, one of the biggest games of the year for us. So, um, to do that in the biggest stage, um, yeah, we obviously had to sit back and have a bit of a chat about it. Um, but we've obviously gone over some things that we thought we could be better at, and, um, and yeah, we just need to get them involved a bit more. Um, you see the likes of uh, Nico Hines and Nathan Cleary, they've got the ball in their hands a lot of the time and myself and Husey are probably doing half of that at the moment, so just trying to figure out where we can get better in the game with the ball in their hands a lot more. The plus side is you do have the double chance, the Roosters, they've sort of been playing finals for the last couple of months or so, is there an element of thinking that they might be a bit fatigued? Nah, look, it, you go into the games like that thinking that you got them or they're fatigued. Um, that's when you get a bit, a bit complacent. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a finals game. It's going to be a final hype. Brendan Smith's obviously come back to play against us, so there'll be a lot of talk about that. Um, and then just obviously with their players and how many injuries they got. So, obviously, everyone's going to be talking about that. They're, they're on the dogs, and um, we, got, we obviously can't lose to them in that kind of regard. But at the end of the day, we've got to only focus on about ourselves. Have to play some good footy at home. We got our crowd behind us this time, so um, yeah. Hopefully, um, we go out there and um, give our fans um, the game that they deserve. Just in terms of a couple of players, Young Sewer made his debut a couple of weeks ago. Now, yep. is he an option? Do you think um, on the bench? Yeah. Look, it's. Um, I'm not too sure uh, at the moment. To, probably, to be completely honest with you, I'm probably more focused on myself. Haven't been great the last couple of weeks, um, so I'll just let Belly Ake and the coaching staff worry about um, the, the, obviously the selections, and I just go out there worry about myself and my footy. Taking on former teammate Brandon Smith as well. Um, do you chat with him heading in? What are your expectations going to get No, I won't talk to him until after the game. Um, I never do, regardless of I've played with him or not. Um, yeah. Give him the respect to when I play out there and go out there, but um, I won't go and catch up with him before the game, no, no dramas at all. He called the Storm's performance future after the Roosters played the other night. What did you make of that? Did he? Yeah. Oh, that's all right. He can do it every once in a while. At the end of the day, if we get the win on him on Friday night, then I'll give it to him. But if he gets a win over me, I'm sure he'll give it to me. So. He, he, it is what it is. Um, he pretty much talks from this, whatever comes to his top of his head, a bit like myself, but I'll, we'll see you guys a laugh, laugh on Friday. And take on the, the Roosters, what are your expectations there? Oh, it'll be physical, uh, for sure. Uh, I know Jared, Hard uh, Jared Hardgrave's not playing, obviously had that ban, but he brings that aggression for him, so I'm sure Radley will do something similar to him on Friday night. Um, but yeah, we just can't get in the arm wrestle or get into the, their kind of footy. We've got to try and play our style of footy. Um, and that's obviously playing eyes up and playing that style. We, we know we can play and hopefully we can do that on Friday.